Okay guys, hey, how you doing? Thanks for clicking on the latest video. I'm John, and you're entering the toy room. Toy room, toy room, toy room. Today we've got something different. This is totally different and probably unexpected for most of you on this channel. Yeah, I got the Halo Warthog. Includes an action figure, you get the Master Chief with it. It's from the new World of Halo scale action figures. Swiveling turret, fits three World of Halo figures. Warthog with Master Chief here. When I saw this in the store, I just had to have it. It's pretty plain back. Uh, everything that Halo makes has this exact same back. Here's the uh, barcode for those who want it. Pretty plain box. Nothing, nothing special on here really but the front picture. But I gotta say, like... I'm a Warthog fan. I just think this is one of the coolest vehicles ever designed. And when I saw they made a toy of this that fits 3.75 slash 4 inch figures, I just, I had to get it. And especially right now, because Target has these on sale. They're marked down 25%. And then if you go and get um, the coupon, there's a text right now until the 21st of November 2020. Uh, you can send a text message to a special number and get a coupon for an additional 25% off. So you can get these vehicles for 50% off, which means that this thing ended up only costing me $17. And then all the action figures are marked down to $5.99 right now. So I picked up the white armored action figure and I picked up an alien just to go along with it. And uh, I am thoroughly impressed with these toys. I, I'm i not a Halo player. I haven't played Halo since the very first game. And this thing is awesome. The turret swivels. The gun goes up and down. Guys can fit in there. There's pegs for the characters to stand on. Handles for them to grip. Things to go against their chess pieces. The gas tanks come off here. Like this one pops off over here. There's a little peg to put it on. And then this... Uh, the other gas tanks on the back just kind of slide off. And they again hook on with these little hooks here. So it's really cool. I mean, you can put the handle in the character's hands. I mean, the treading on the tires, the detailing on the vehicle, the dashboard and the way the seats are designed, the controls. Everything about this is just really, really cool. Highly detailed. Really robust toy, too. This thing is solid. It is well constructed. It's not going to break. It's going to handle some rough play. You know, good action. You can take this thing outside in the dirt pile and just go to town. This thing's great. And like I said, it comes with Master Chief, the guy here in the green. This white armored guy I got separately and the alien I got separately. Right now the figures at Target are just $5.99. They have pegs in the back to hold their weapons. So there's good areas to store the weapons if you don't want to have them in their hands. And uh, it's really cool. The aliens, they, they all come with bases, so they have pegs to stand on. And uh, they've got lots of articulation. The alien needs the stand because the feet are so small, he will not stand up on his own. Where the other two armored guys, they'll stand easily. Oh, and by the way, every figure, everything you get comes with a game add-on. And since I do not play the game, I'm giving away, I can give away this add-on code. So if you play Halo Infinite and you want the code for the game to get a special item, let me know in the comments below and the first person who lets me know, I'll send you a message and give you the code so you can unlock something special in the game. Because I don't play this game. Like I said, I haven't played since the very, the very first game. I remember playing the first game on the regular Xbox, I think it was, and uh, I haven't touched a Halo game since then. I remember we were living in a house. I'm going through the articulation right now. The head moves really well. The arms, everything moves really well on this character. Lots of movement. But I remember living in a house in uh, when I first moved to Seattle. And there was... So it had to be the early 2000s. It wasn't the late 90s. It was early 2000s, wasn't it? And uh, everybody in the house played Halo. And that was kind of the thing. We'd all sit down on the couch and take turns playing Halo and doing stuff on the Xbox. And it was... It was really cool. Um, good times back then. 
And, uh, but yeah, like I said, I mean, I liked the Warthog back then. I liked the armor, the idea of the characters in these arm in these armored suits, but I just never got any games after that very first one. And, um, I mean, part of it's because I just never, I don't own an Xbox. You know, someone in the house owned the Xbox. And when I moved out, I never bought one for myself. And I've never bought any of the next generation systems for Xbox. I'm a PlayStation guy. So I've been PlayStation the whole time. Otherwise, I probably would have been playing Halo this whole time. Because I do think the armor and the weapons, the aliens, everything about this looks really cool. It's total sci-fi, total cool. I mean, armored suits and stuff is really my thing. Look at the way these ankles move, man. These feet, they have such incredible articulation in the feet and legs that you can, like... I mean, look at that. You can actually do that. You can bend the legs and put the foot flat on the ground. There's not a lot of action figures where you can actually bend the knees this much and still have the feet flat on the ground. And you can do these really cool poses. Like, look at this. We can get this, like, awesome sort of running motion thing going and the feet are going to be flat on the ground and he stands up like you can put him there and stand him up that way it's like what wow so yeah really good action on this guy i love the way the head turns and bobs i love the way the armor looks the detailing everything about these is really cool and here's the white one with one of the pulse rifle things and uh he just looks really cool I could army build the white one and get a few other troopers to go along with this, you know. Especially until November 21st. Like I said, right now, until November 21st, these figures are marked down to $5.99 at, at uh, Target stores. I, they're not on sale at Walmart. I saw them at Walmart, and they're still the, the regular $8.99 at Walmart. But, um... Which, by the way, still isn't bad for a figure of this size with this much detail. I mean, they're 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 cheaper than a vintage collection Star Wars figure, and I think they have more detail than a Star Wars figure. <laughs> but whatever. The uh, aliens, the jaws move, which is cool, and the head has a double joint. There's a neck joint at the bottom, and a neck joint at the top, right where the head is. So you get double joints for the aliens, which is kind of cool. And they twist and move at each of those joints as well. The arms and torso are nearly the same as in any, any old figure. You know, with just bending arms, bending elbows, twist there. But the legs have extra joints. There's joints at the ankle. There's two different knee joints. You know, all these joints in the legs are different. And there's an extra waist, like there's this typical one up there, but then this piece moves also. See that? So you got a little bit of movement down there as well as moving up above. So it's kind of like an armored penis or something. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Weird alien chicken things. Cool little backpack deal on there and, you know. I hope they have some of those really big guys. Wouldn't that be cool? I don't know what... um. How, how far they're going to go with this line. But man, some of those really cool big monstrosities would be awesome to have them fighting against instead of just sort of foot soldier things, you know? Really cool. But anyways, I am liking this line of action figures. I truly and totally am. I love this vehicle. I'm just thoroughly impressed. Now, I don't know if I would have bought any of these if they were regular price. I mean, I got to be, you know... Quite frank with you here, the the low price is what drew me to this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can get it for that cheap? I'm going to do this. I can't pass it up, you know. But um, if I had to pay the full, whatever, $30 or whatever it was, you know, eh, I might have second, I might have had second thoughts. But getting it at half price, I just had to have it. You know, I was like, this is, this is a no-brainer for me. It's so cool. And, uh... Yeah, I just thought I'd share with you guys because um, there might be some of you out there who are looking at this and you might be like, I got to get this thing too. I totally see what you mean. Or you're a Halo fan and you just wanted to check out what this thing looked like before you uh, dropped the dime on it. Cause, um, but I mean, I say it's worth it. You know, it's really cool. Having it in my hand right now, I mean, it's worth the, the full price. It's totally worth paying the full price for because um, this thing is solid. It is constructed very well. It's done very well. The details are incredible. I mean, I I highly and absolutely recommend this toy line. 
to anyone who's a sci-fi fan, not just Halo fans. Anyone out there who loves sci-fi and uh, cool action figures and vehicles. I think it's I think it's top notch. It's definitely worth checking out. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, John, I'm out of here, and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Thanks.